Oh. Just thank you, Father God, for this day, Lord. So I just want to say this, y'all. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Think about that. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Renew. To make your mind new again in the word of God. So you have, think about this. That I've been having these memories of, of me as a child with my grandpa I, I, that have been surfacing that I have, haven't thought about in so long. And I was thinking, man, I've came such a long way of learning things, of experiencing trials and tribulations and going through situations that it has brought trauma to my life. It has taught me things that uh, life has taught things of the world and the world in general has taught me things that has brought trauma to my mind that has affected me in a different way. And God wants you to renew your mind as if it was back in the day before it was touched by Satan, by it was, before it was touched by the world, before it, uh, it was affected by any type of trauma that was brought to you by any circumstance that you ever had in your life. God wants you to get back to that place where you were a child. And, 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 and where you are able to uh, learn new things. Sometimes we're, we, we, uh, right now we might just have to try to unlearn and, and put away everything that we have learned in our life that has affected us. And we have to get back to where we were as a child thinking like. Thinking like a child. Being humble. Uh, being willing to uh, receive more uh, knowledge um, when we were a child, we were like a sponge. We are able to soak in so many things. We just hear our, our moms say a cuss word one time. We're already saying it. But sometimes we got to just, when we renew our mind in the word of God, we're renewing our mind and going back to, Lord, I don't have it all together. I don't know all the answers, Father God. But your word is what all I need to soak in right now. I need to clear my mind of everything that has affected me in my life. And so the title of this message I just want to tell you is that you're not who you say you are. You have, ra you have uh, raised up in this world and the world has uh, affected you so much even after coming to Christ. And, and 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 you and it's telling you you are a failure you're starting to you have heard that so many times through through your life that you started to accept it and speak it over your life you started to accept that you were um, depressed you started to accept that you had a, a, anxiety issues you started to uh, accept that you were broke you started to accept everything that you uh, that that the enemy wanted to, for you to believe in. But let me say something. You are not who you say you are. You are strong in the name of Jesus. You have peace in the name of Jesus. You are a mighty child of God. And the enemy doesn't want you to know that. So I just want to encourage you today. Renew your mind in the word of God. Get back to your first love. Run back to him. We are not promised tomorrow. Today is the day of salvation. We must renew our mind. Lord, give, grant me clarity. Grant me a new perspective on life. And I believe that if you just listen to this message that you can do that. You can say, I, everything that has affected me, I'm putting it to the side. Lord, make me childlike so that I'm able to receive and learn everything you want me to learn. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name. I, I, that's enough. That's enough. Holy Spirit did enough. If you if you receive that, man, ooh, just accept it. Walk in it. You're mighty in the name of Jesus. You're not who you say you are.